Bushcraft 412 and today I want to talk about one of the must-haves of backpacking. And not only backpacking but also for camping, hiking, fishing, anything like that. If you're a hunter, you're an outdoorsman, you should have a bandana. I think there's no, I mean aside from duct tape, there's nothing more versatile than a bandana. Now my preference, I like oversized bandanas. And if you do a web search, you can you can find You'll find these, you know, all over the place, relatively cheap, a buck or two. These are 42-inch bandanas. They're actually pretty big. You know, they are a pretty good size. And I like the camo ones. Uh, that way, if I use them when I'm hunting, you know, they really, you know, I, they're multi-purpose. I can use them for hunting and, you know, backpacking and whatever. Um, I don't have to worry about having a bright red bandana on me. Um, they come in all different shapes, colors, sizes. You name it. I like the camo ones. They're my favorite. Um, now let's get into the uses of this thing. I mean, number one, your bandana is a hat. It's, you know, a, a, a neck a neck gaiter. It's a pot holder. It's a towel. It's, you name it. There's, there's enough uses for, there's so many uses for a bandana, it's scary. I mean, if you're going to take a shower, you're going to clean yourself up, you can use your bandana. You're going to cook dinner, you got to grab a hot pot. You know these pot handles get hot? You can use your bandana. You can filter water with this. This is a band-aid. This is rope. This is tinder. This is, you know, we can go on and on and on about the uses for a bandana. Um, I use mine every trip and I use it for as much as I humanly can. Um, I often, when I sleep at night, I drape this over my face to keep the bugs off. Uh, especially when I'm out sleeping under the stars. You know, you're not using a tent. I don't like bringing bug nets with me. They're kind of a pain in the butt. I'll just kind of take this, drape it over my face. If it's a hot day, you know, you can just wet this thing down and put it over your head while you're walking. It'll cool you down nice. You can wrap it around your neck uh, when, it's, when it's with some nice cool mountain water. Really cool you down. Clean yourself up. Anything you can think to do, um, and let's you know. And then, not even to mention all the emergency things. You know, this, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a bandage. It's you know, you can cut it into thin strips and use it as rope. You know what else? You know, signaling device. You know, if you have a bright red one or an orange one or something like that, it's a signaling device. No end to the uses of a bandana. They're small. They're lightweight. You fold them up. You know, this is my replacement for a towel in my pack. Um, and like I said, I do like the oversized ones, and I get them online. I can't remember the site, but you just Google oversized bandanas, and there's, you know, a good dozen sites that sell them for anywhere from a buck up to six, seven dollars, depending on what the uh, what the design is. Um, I do carry some normal sized bandanas once in a while, but I like the oversized. You know, they, they're they nice. You have a little extra if you're, if you're wearing it on your head. It gives you a little extra, and you know, plus, hey, you know, you can wear it around your face like a like an 1800s train robber, too. So, there's a little fun in there, too. Bushcraft 412. Giving you a quick kind of show and tell on the bandana. Why I love them. Why this is always in my pack.